Hi, I'm Tamara, and we've been living here in this village for two years now. And for me, it has really always been clear that if we own a bigger property, I'd like to have a swimming pool, but a natural one. I want no chlorine, I want no chemicals in the water. I want to dive with the kids, with the dogs as well, and I want to come out and have a clean skin. Your channel for swim tikes. Nature in your garden and water that's alive. Enjoy watching. So who lives here? Me, my spouse and two kids. Animal wise we have three dogs, a cat and two rabbits. A big family. Right. I had talked to my father about the Teich doctor from Lambach and beforehand we had informed ourselves, obtained some information, looked at swim tags in the neighborhood and then it was instantly pretty clear to us, we didn't look at anything else anymore. It was part of the planning process for the house from the beginning, the whole swim tag project where it would be, all that was settled before we built the house. Oh, did you also build it yourselves? That's right. Wow. Two years ago. In January, we signed the contract and in November we moved in. Then in the garden planning, the garden designing, when the house was basically finished, we started with the swim tag project. Working with the tag doctor, the organization is in your own hands. Excavations, gravel, lining professionals, you have to organize and buy all that beforehand. Then when you have everything ready and the first digging starts, the Teich doctor is there and manages everything with the excavator operator. So it will get excavated properly so that the slants are correctly digged. So that, yeah, so the whole construction of the Teich is done right from the beginning. So he was there when the excavating took place. Exactly. Ah, and then? You have told me before your walls are really very smooth. Why? So we had it excavated. And then we were done with the Teich doctor for the moment. And over the weekend we could do the finishing by hand. We were standing inside it and smeared all the walls with dirt. Slapping it on, closing the holes and, yeah, thriving to the point that everything would be as smooth as possible. Did the kids help? Yeah, they partly helped too. The whole thing was quite fun. It was a lot of work too, that modeling. And the Teich doctor told us from the beginning that the smoother we make the walls, the easier the cleaning will be. And did that prove true? Yes, by all means. Then we made an appointment with the thermal welder for the liner. He came and spread out his liners. No wait. That's not quite right. First, we placed our foundation stones along one side because we knew we wanted a wooden broadwalk and we needed to properly attach it. So we had to get all that ready that weekend and then the liner prof came and did his work with the liner. There we had nothing to do. He did all of that by himself. And after a few hours he was done. He worked swiftly and on his own. Didn't need any help. And then we called the Teich doctor and told him that everything was done and that he could come back. So he arrived, looked at it and was pretty pleased. Then we started wheeling gravel. We filled the bags, he brought his green bags, told us how far to fill them with gravel. And then we kept running with the wheelbarrow and did that. On that day he brought his son who also supported us. And yes, it was a hard day, but it was done after a few hours. And then we had the first water on. We filled in the first water. We were a bit disappointed that day, because our washed gravel was very dirty. And then we had a brown broth. And how long did that take? Last year, pretty much the whole year, we rarely had clear water. This year it regenerated itself quite well over winter and now it's at a point where we're happy. 
It's like he had told us in that first year, because the swim tide has to regenerate itself and the microorganisms are just kind of waking up. And we also had put in water from Atese for support. So yeah, after a year, all that may be accumulated. So last year in fall, I poured microorganisms into the water. Effective microorganisms are a common subject to me. I work with them in the greenhouse, in the household, hence. If it doesn't help, it won't hurt. Right. They are created for natural pools, so I just use them. But one could see that it was doing something. Yeah, so we filled the swim tank with water. Due to the gravel being dirty, the water was brown, turbid, grey, disgusting to be honest. Um, it stayed like that quite long. The kids didn't care, they went in anyways. Myself, I didn't care for it. In the first year, we never really managed to get clear water. It got a little better sometimes. And then environmental factors, which among others have influence, and the sweeping and the gravel, all the turning over and over. Time after time, it got turbid and disgusting again. At that point, yes, I was a bit upset. In the fall, when it got colder, it was recognizably becoming better. And over winter, it regenerated really well. This year, we actually had very good water from the beginning. Start of the year, it was very clear, until the first neighbors started mowing their lawns. Then it turned a bit greenish and turbid, but it bounced back quickly. Recently, with the heavy storms, it got more turbid again, because I dropped in that palm tree and the soil from the pot. Ah, yeah, there were a few things in the teich which shouldn't be in there. But considering what was in there, it regenerated quite quickly. And now the water is at a point where I can say, all right, it's good. This year we can say it's great. And concerning maintenance, this year I vacuumed a bit more. Nevertheless, it is little effort. It's every few days that I take some 20 minutes for it. That is what I've wanted, a natural swim tank that comes with little work and has natural water. Yeah, right. And I mostly do the vacuuming in spring and fall. But as I said, this year I did some extra vacuuming when the palm tree fell in. But otherwise, two to three times a year. Huh, tell me, what do you do at such a point? You get up in the morning and the palm tree is just lying in the water there? No, we actually watched it happen. So the wind came and we were standing on the terrace and the wind speed was 120 km per hour that day and then you saw the hammock going into the teich, the chairs, the palm tree was rolling in all directions and we were hoping it wouldn't. I ran out there and was able to get one of them but then all the soil and everything ended up in the teich. I only thought, please, don't go green again, please. Because back then, it really was crystal clear. It was slightly noticeable afterwards, but nothing dramatic. I couldn't even get the soil out with the suction pump. It wasn't able to suck it in. So I started fishing out the soil with my landing net, instead of sweeping it down into the 3 meter zone. I imagine that was horrible. Oh yes, when the hammock stand fell in, I just hoped that it wouldn't damage the liner. That would have been dreadful. But no, it survived the storm all right. Someone recommended granite, but in the end we chose travertine stones. Because our whole house is kept in shades of brown, so we didn't want granite here. We chose a beaten travertine stone. We made this area, actually a kid's area, 
but we made it for our dogs, so that the dogs can join us in the swim teich and swim and cool down. Also, you don't always want to go in all the way, sometimes we just want to sit inside. That's also what this area is for. Did the travertine stones prove to be a good choice? No, they didn't. They are very slippery, as the Teich doctor said. We wouldn't be happy with them. Looking at them, great. But on the steps, you really have to be careful. That's it, unfortunately. There, granite would have been better. The dogs do in fact go in, especially in summer, all three dogs. But just in that area, they don't enjoy swimming that much. And yes, they sit in there a lot, take strolls, wash their ponds, drink water. Yeah, the dogs use the swim tank a lot. For building the swim teich, except the broad walk, we finished that one just this year, but the swim teich itself took a good week to finish. The total water surface is 15 times 7 and the swim area is 10 times 4 meters. The so-called baby area is 40 centimeters deep, then there is the area with a depth of about 140 centimeters and then there is a slant which goes down into approximately three meters that is the area where all dirt settles and from where the water circulates in the swim teich yes the costs have also been a factor that appealed to us considering the size for our swim teich including the liner the gravel the teich doctor's work we paid about 10,000 euros and that, for this size, was a reason for me to say that's ideal. And even the maintenance costs. There's no chlorine, no pumps, no electricity. You have to invest an amount of money, which is affordable, at the start. But then it's done. Well, the positives. Firstly, the animals. I enjoy watching the birds when they come and take baths. And also the kids love jumping in. I'm not someone who likes going to this public swimming pool. I'm rather at home, where I can do other things in between going swimming. And that's ideal. I don't have to get to the car in midsummer and drive somewhere. I just get into my bikini and jump into the water. We started early, around May, June. I only went in in July. I'm someone who wants the water warm. And yes, August was quite rainy, so we did not use the swim teich much. Us humans, the pets and animals, use it all year round. No, we never have problems. That. But no, wait, maybe we do. Last year, my older daughter was home alone and they were splashing around and they aren't supposed to walk on the path in the front and the stone plate fell in. That was a bit of a drama last year. The plate was hard to dive up, they are quite heavy. The kids felt bad because it fell in and broke. Last year the water level dropped by 15 centimeters. The skimmer also stopped working. And did you refill? No. No, no. Okay, we can turn it off now. Yeah, well, I'm always the one. As soon as there's a little water missing, I'll say, don't spill kids or we'll have no more water. And everyone laughs. And if you would do it all over again, would you do anything differently? Um, yes, I would make it one or two meters wider. <laughs> But the rest, the form with the kids area, I would do it exactly the same, just a bit broader. I would do it again anytime, no matter where I would move or what I would do, the swim teich would always happen. Because it is just great. Even just sitting by the water and being able to put your feet in the water, that's just 
a feeling of freedom. Yeah. You have to, you have your own luxury at home. For me, it is my little luxury at home, in my garden.